दुष्यम रामीति मधुर मधुराक्षर आरोह्य कविता शाखा वंदे वाल्मीकि कोकिल श्रीमते निगमांत महादेशिकाय नम रामा goes and informs his mother kaushalya about the command given by his father and the stepmother to go to the forest that time kaushalya was performing aaradhanam to jagannatha also known as ranganatha today in the temple in ayodhya as she saw her son come she was extremely happy but rama informs that for 14 years i have been asked to live on the fruits the tubers in the forest this is the command by my dear father dasharatha she starts shedding copious tears she says i was treated at par with the maid servants by your father but i was hopeful that one day you will become the higher apparent and eventually the king and i will get some respect from the citizens rama all that is turning false like a yogini i observed all the vratams mentioned in the shastras but what is the use see you are going to the forest rama had i been issueless i would have just had one worry i don't have a child but having you as a son now look at the number of problems that i have to face in my life it would have been better and i had no child at all how can i survive without looking at your moon like face i will also come to the forest and whatever you consume whether you consume the fruits the tubers the grass i will consume along with you tvad viyoga anname karyam jeevite na sukhe na cha tvaya sah mam shreyan strunanam api bhakshanam then she continues Rama if you don't take me to the forest along with you I shall fast until death See this is a very common thing that we come across in Shrimad Ramayana it is called prayupavesham where to achieve a certain objective you will fast to make the other person feel bad that because of that person we are fasting which is true even today uh in the south of india there are many such events which happens politically where you have to achieve something from the government then a group of people a community starts fasting fasting unto death in tamil it is called unna viradam without eating is my vow i shall not eat unna viradam viradam is vratam so what about fasting can we fast because kaushalya says i will fast until death if you don't take me has shastras have the shastras allowed fasting as a virtue as per the dharma shastras laid by prominent rishis like uh, apastamba bodhayana parashara and many more fasting is recommended only to twice a month for any individual be it the man or the woman let's keep the very elderly population and the little children out of this particular ambit adults men and women are allowed to fast only twice a month 
both the days are not consecutive days. The two days are the two ekadashis that occur in a month. So, you have the waxing phase and the waning phase. You have the Shukla Paksha and the Krishna Paksha. In both the Pakshas, the 11th day is called Ekadashi. There is something called Ekadashi Tithi and Ekadashi Vratam. I shall not get into the nuances of this particular details. It is called Ekadashi. Whether it is Tithi or Vratam is something that needs to be debated later. But on the day of Ekadashi, fasting is recommended, strongly recommended. In fact, if you are all fixing nice events in your house like marriages, try avoiding Ekadashi because on Ekadashi, though it is a very auspicious day, Shastram tells that you should not serve food to any person. You should not have food and you should not serve food. So, in a marriage, if you are having marriage, the date becomes very tough. Guests are coming and you want to serve the best of food to them. So, try avoiding Ekadashi. Have it on Dwadashi, no problem. So, Ekadashi, fasting is recommended. What kind of fasting? The fasting should begin on the previous day evening. It is called Dashami Tithi. So, that evening, after having a supper, around 5.36, your Vratam has to begin. So, it has to continue the next day, full day, Ekadashi, 24 hours and Dwadashi morning, roughly before 8.39, you will have to consume the Tirtham of the Lord, Tulasi Tirtham and then consume good food. Try avoiding tamarind that day. So, this is the general procedure of Ekadashi Vartam. What should I have, sir? 24 hours plus 6 hours plus 6 hours close to 36 hours you have to fast. What can we have? Nothing. When I say nothing, nothing. Can we have water? No. Can you even, you know, saliva gets secreted, right? Can we have saliva? No. That strict used to be the Ekadashi Vratam. That is how we have uh, Ambarish Charitram in Srimad Bhagavatam. He was a very, very uh, uh, well-read king who observed the Ekadashi Vratam. But is it possible to be Nirjalam without water? That is why they say consume water. But just water will not be enough. Then they say consume little fruits. Fruits alone will not suffice. Then they say consume little tiffin. Tiffin alone will not suffice. Next left is only food. So, Ekadashi Vratam is to be performed. That is twice a month. So, in a year, roughly 24 Ekadashi Vratams will come. Besides these days of Ekadashi, Shastram generally does not support or subscribe to un, uh, irrelevant days of Vratam. I like this particular deity, so Monday I will fast. I like this particular deity, Tuesday I will fast. All this has not been recommended. You may want to do it. Nothing is a crime in Sanatana Dharma. You won't be beheaded. But Ekadashi Vratam is recommended. But you should not threaten others that I will fast unto my death. This is not recommended. This prayopavesham is not recommended. But in Ramayana, you come across quite a few prayopaveshams. One, Rama's mother Kaushalya says, I shall uh, fast until my death. Then Kaushalya son, Rama will do one prayopavesham to get the permission of the uh, ocean king to construct the bridge. So, whether it is Rama or Rama's mother Kaushalya, it is not recommended. Just we cannot say Rama himself has done. Even then it is wrong as per Dharma Shastra. So here she says, Yaritvam Yasivanam Tyaktva Maam Shokalalasam Aham Prayami Hasishye Nacha Rakshyami Jeevitum I will not protect my life. I will fast until my death. That is when Rama says, Mata, you know for the fact that obeying father's words, Pitruvakya Paripalanam is recommended in the Shastras. I am just doing what the Shastras say. Do you want me to go against the Shastras? She kept mum. That is when he says, I have to follow my father's words because there have been many precedents in the past. So, he gives a few examples. One, Gohatti dosham, Gohatti dosham. There was a sage called Kandu. He 
killed a cow because his father told him to do so now there is a charitram behind this kandu charitram that is not needed for now kandu vakyam is very important in vibhishana sharanagati in yuddha kandam of ramayana when we deal with vibhishana sharanagati let's talk about kandu vakyam there here this kandu maharishi he sacrificed or he killed a cow because his father told him to do so is it good to kill a cow no it is treated as a mother but why did he do because his father told him so he, rama says even a cow was killed despite knowing that the dosham called gohatti dosham gohatya will come kandu did it because he wanted to follow his father's words next example mother is treated see cow is treated as a mother next he gives an example of how a mother was also killed renu's daughter was renuka renuka from a kshatriya kulam married jamadagni the son of rishika and satyavati so this jamadagni and renuka had many sons the last was naturally parashurama the amshavatar of vishnu he was called jamadagniya the son of jamadagni so parashurama he kills his mother renuka there is a charitra mentioned that renuka used to make mud pots every day because mud pots cannot be kept for a long period of time in the orthodox traditional world you cannot keep only silver and golden pots can be retained for generations together not mud pots so every day she had to make a mud pot so as she would go to the sands of the lake close by one day she observed the chitraratha a raja uh, playing with many women in the waters for a moment she felt quite attracted enamored by this love play that she was seeing in front of her so when in this losing of a few seconds she could not make the pot properly but despite all her efforts she could make one pot and she came to jamadagni's ashram jamadagni sensed through his divya drishti that she was lost for a few seconds looking at the love play of chitraratha so he ordains commands his sons to kill renuka the sons refuse finally the last son parashurama bhargava rama he says i shall follow my father's words and kills his mother so parashurama the amshavatar of the lord despite knowing that mother matrudevo bhava mother is to be treated like the god herself then he killed his mother why he obeyed his father's words so kandu maharishi killed the mother like cow because his father commanded parashurama killed his mother renuka beheaded her because his father commanded then he gives another example sagara chakravarti ordered his sons to go in search of the sacrificial horse they all did so so all these are examples mother as to how father's commands were respected so shastram tells pitrudevo bhava it tells follow your father's words we have examples of kandu maharishi parashurama sagara sons who followed their father's words so how am i different am i doing something which is unnatural or extraordinary he asks let us see how he further convinces kaushalya in this due process Dear Astika reader I am happy to be authoring a two part book on the Ramayana in English The first part is slated for release in the year 2024 The book aims to recreate and retell the Ramayana of Valmiki conforming to the ancient commentaries and other allied literature To receive notifications of the book release kindly register with www.deshikadaya.org/books namaskaram